Here's Phil to tell you more. Today, we got a good amount of stuff to talk about, all right? And essentially, we need some updates. We need attempts to try to remedy some situations. <laughs> I'm going to talk all about that this morning. And in addition, like I said, there's an update to the suggestion box per your suggestions. So because of your suggestions, we're changing the suggestions or updating the suggestions. Anyway, yes, um, all that today. And by the way, just to get started here, um, already some people in the stream chat are asking, oh, your day off is Wednesday again for two weeks in a row now. Does that mean moving forward, your day off will always be Wednesday? I don't know. I wish I could answer that. I wish that I had a definitive yes or no answer with reasoning. I don't. Uh, as you know, my schedule changes and fluctuates depending on things going on behind the scenes of my life that, you know, I don't really dictate or control. Um, <clears throat> As of right now, um, tomorrow, I'm essentially doing some appointments that I was supposed to do last week but did not on my day off. So, yeah. Now, will that be the same next week? I don't know. I always try to do a six-day streaming week, you know, if I can. Sometimes it's shorter than that. Sometimes it's longer than that. But I always try to maintain that six days. I, the way I see it, Wednesday is a day when there's almost never a new release, right? Almost never. Has there... How often is there a new game coming out on a Wednesday? Like, almost never, right? So, hopefully, if I have my days off on Wednesdays, it wouldn't affect things. At the same time, Thursday also isn't so bad. I would argue, <clears throat> excuse me, Tuesdays um, or Fridays probably are, are a bigger deal. Um, but... It, you know, like I said, it's not necessarily like, oh, I just want a particular day off. I really don't actually care what day my day off is. It's all based around appointments and my my behind-the-scenes schedule of personal stuff going on, my wife's schedule going on. So, yeah, I wish that right now I could say, okay, next week, yes, my day off will also be Wednesday. So everyone be ready for that and set your schedules, but I I can't do that. I actually don't know if next week, uh, Wednesday, will be my day off or not yet. So I can't answer that question for you um, as of this moment. However, if you need to know, always follow my posted schedule that I post up right here on my community tab of DSP Gaming every single night. Or that I post up as my pinned tweet over on X uh, at they call me DSP every single night. That's how you'll be mostly in the know about what's going on. And of course, the day before, I always post up the day, the next day streams ahead of time so you know what to expect. Okay? Fair enough? All right. <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about the suggestion box. Because over the last couple of months, people keep saying, hey, are you ever going to do suggestion box? And every once in a while, we do it. But what happens is when the suggestion box gets so loaded with suggestions and it ends up being two, three months old, you get so many outdated things in there that it doesn't really make sense to really look at it anymore. Like I was looking at it yesterday morning very briefly and it was a whole bunch of outdated stuff. Some of which are things that have already happened, things that we've already done or changed. I'm like, yeah. So I think what we need to do is make a new suggestion box. Okay, so I did. There is a brand new suggestion box pin, uh, on the community tab here of DSP Gaming. <clears throat> you can access that by typing exclamation point suggestion in the chat right now, it'll bring up the Nightbot command where you can click on it, go right to the thread and post up your suggestions. And um, <clears throat> if you're not on live on stream, well, it, you know, I posted it today. It is, it is on the community tab. Uh, it is a little bit harder to access that way. I'm not sure exactly how I could always have a running link somewhere that's not on the stream. I guess I'll have to think about that. But anyway, um, in regards to this community this uh, uh, community post, please use the suggestion box for the following reasons, all right? Number one, there's something you feel that I could be doing, like a show or a game or something I'm not currently doing, and you think that I should do it, and it would be fun. Number two, you have some constructive criticism. Maybe I'm doing something right now that you don't particularly like the way I'm doing it, and you feel that there's reasons why, and you'd like to share those reasons and explain how I can improve what I'm doing. Those are suggestions. You understand? 
I'm sorry that I have to clarify what a suggestion is because I thought people understood what they were, but I was wrong because previously in this suggestion box, we would get people posting up 10 paragraphs. I wish that was an exaggeration. A post this long that basically is just a bunch of gripes. Oh, I don't like that. You, you ask for contributions. Oh, your podcast is too long. Oh, I don't like when you complain about this. Oh, those none of those are suggestions. Literally not a single one is a suggestion. Those are complaints. Those are gripes. That's a bitch session. Okay? The suggestion box is not meant to be a bitch session. There's no point in doing that because unless you can tell me, here's how you can improve and here's why what you're doing is wrong, change it this way for the better and here's why, then there's no, there's no point in posting. I don't need to see you sit there and complain for 10 paragraphs. I'm not going to wait, read my, read it and waste my time. You know, um, I'm looking for people who enjoy the content. That's the key thing. If you already don't enjoy the content, right? You're not going to enjoy it. Even if I completely change the content and who I am, you're still going to complain. I mean, you're already catered or, or, or what's the word conditioned to not like the content. You're still not going to like it. There's no point in posting 27 gripes. Okay. But me. If you liked the content at one point and something changed about it and you'd like to express, oh, I'm sad because it changed. Here's what I used to like. Maybe we could get it back. Or, hey, I like this, but it could be better if you did this instead. Or, hey, I'd really like it if you would do this game. Maybe you never heard of it. And here's a suggestion because maybe it's just not in your radar, right? That's the kind of stuff that helps. Not just complaining, okay? And I'm open to suggestions for improvement. I mean, look how many things have improved and changed over the last several years. As a result of your suggestions, literally everything around you, the light, the backlight, the decorations, the better camera, me dressing differently, a new pop guard on the mic, this limiters on the mic, right? Like everything you're seeing right now on stream is literally a direct impact from your suggestions. So don't take this lightly. The suggestion box can absolutely be something constructive if used properly. All right. So by all means, please start posting up suggestions again and yes now that the suggestion box has been refreshed and we'll have fresh new suggestions in there i will likely start to draw upon it more often okay i've been very apprehensive about doing it in the last couple of months because the, the suggestions were so outdated fair enough <clears throat> okay he jumps on the biggest trends the biggest drama he'll make you comment about the biggest stories just for his own personal benefit and attention he doesn't care who he hurts he doesn't care at what expense just like keemstar he's just as bad as keemstar the only difference is he's nowhere near as fucking popular as keemstar Joe. hint hint Joe. hint hint Joe. hint hint